Hi everyone, it's Nick from ITLA Scale Models. I just wanted to take a moment to share with you our industrial wall module kits and explain a little bit about how they go together and some of the flexibility in their design. When you look at a lot of our products, you'll find that the wall panel itself will come in a carrier sheet such as this. I've already spray painted this quickly uh, with a Krylon gray finish to uh, give it that look of concrete. We'll go back over that in the future with some pastels and some, um, some acrylic paints to, uh, to weather that up. But I wanna share with you how, first of all, how we get our panels out of the carrier sheets. And it's a very simple process. It's been designed to have um, uh, some friction fit uh, in each of these joints so that you can actually assemble parts, uh, test and dry fit parts before you glue. Simple way to, to get these parts out of the carriers is really just push the panel out carefully from the rear. And you can hear the uh, attachment nibs snapping away. That's not a problem. And discard the carrier sheet or save some of those parts um, as internal bracing if you would like. So here's what the uh, wall panel looks like in its initial form. All of these openings will accept either of our windows or our brick panel inserts. You can mix and match those as you see fit. What I wanted to share with you today was the simplicity in the design. And as you can see in this example in front of me here, that you can stack these walls a little taller than what I've designed here at the moment. So as an example, you section cut off that top header along the line that I've provided and using another panel and again section cutting components from it you can easily begin to start stacking the walls a little higher and a little higher depending on what level or number of stories you want to create and you can see as I would put all those back together now I've got a six-story structure instead of a four-story structure so uh, you can mix and match those components very easily. The second thing I want to share with you is how easily these components plug in to the frame of the wall itself. So I've already installed this window and I've glazed it from the rear already. Uh, the brick panels are currently loose, uh, but you can push those in either from the front or the rear. It's your choice. You can actually set them back if you like that look of an inset brick panel, easily accomplished, or you can just push it all flush against your work surface and have a flush look on the front face. Very easy. Um, the first thing I will do is install a window panel, and, and this is usually in any of these, these parts. You can remove the movable sash, glaze it separately, and install the wall panel. You can remove the movable sash, set it aside for glazing later, install the window frame, in the opening by again pushing it back onto your work surface flush with the rear of this component. Similarly with the next window panel again flush to the rear. Now if I rotate that and show you you've got those parts designed as a friction fit installed and waiting to be glazed from the back side and what I will do is use a um, a product, a clear product, like a micro scale, a crystal clear or a deluxe um, uh, adhesives, um, has a nice glazing material that we that they use uh, very nicely uh, applied and finely applied in these corners. And even on the window frame, if you want to capture that um, around the opening of the movable sash. And then again, as I mentioned, easy to pop out and pop in different panels. Right, you want the brick look, of course, or perhaps I want a solid brick panel instead of a window. Pop that window out, set it aside, and again, you can insert your brick panel just as easily in that opening. There you go. So, mix and match all these components, section cut, stack, uh, create different heights in your structure. All right dovetail tongue and groove construction so you can kind of uh, see how this will will start to change the look of the structure this is again something you can customize for yourself if you wish and there you go please have a look on our website this exists in ho scale and we also have an n scale product line emerging shortly thanks very much for watching